This video shows you a demonstration of Ethernet TSN switch conformance testing, using Spirant Automotive C1. First of all, I'll explain about specifications of Renesas's Ethernet TSN switch. This switch is a layer 2 switch. And our switch is supporting these protocols. This is Spirant's Automotive C1 for evaluating the TSN standard. Of the TSN standards that can be evaluated on this equipment, the four standards, shown in red have been tested. In this demo, I run some frame preemption test. This is the demo environment. Switch IP is implemented in this FPGA. The FPGA and Automotive C1 are connected by an Ethernet cable. Automotive C1 and FPGA are each connected to the control PC. We can also issue commands from the control PC to FPGA via WART. In addition, Spirant's TT Workbench tool is installed on this PC, and various TSN tests can be executed automatically. Let's take a brief look at the preemption. For Ethernet devices that do not have the preemption function, it is not possible to send high priority frames while sending low priority frames. Therefore, such a delay occurs and real time processing cannot be performed. However, in the case of preemption enabled Ethernet devices, it is possible to interrupt low priority frames with high priority frames. The low priority frame is a special frame called P frame. The high priority frame can be transmitted without delay, so real time processing is possible. Switches that support this TSN standard have a function to interrupt high priority frames, to transmit low priority P frames, and to receive divided P frames. In this demo, we will confirm that after receiving this special divided P frame. Now let's see how the test actually runs. Here is the GUI screen for testing the TSN conformance. In this demo, I run some frame preemption test using Spirant's test automation platform TT Workbench. First, boot the FPGA. When FPGA is booted, a message will be displayed on this console screen. After booting, set the switch and PHY at a link speed of 100 megabits per second of auto negotiation. When all the settings are completed, a test selection message will be displayed. Select test accept and the FPGA settings are complete. Next, I will operate TT Workbench. Setting up TT Workbench is easy, just click execute like this and the test will be executed. The acceptance test checks that the switch can correctly receive the 6 divided P frame sent from Automotive C1. Since the preamble part of the P frame is different from a normal Ether frame, such an equipment is required. In this window, the frames sent and received from Automotive C1 are displayed visually. In this way, you can see that the dot received the divided P frame combined it as a single frame, and sent it back to Automotive C1. Finally, Automotive C1 compares the transmitted data with the received data. If they match, the pass is displayed like this. By clicking here, you can display special P frames that cannot be captured normally in this way, so debugging is easy. In addition to this 802.1 QBU, 802.3 BR test, we also tested 802.1 QCI, 802.1 QBV, and 802.1 CB, and confirmed that they all worked without problems. Finally, more information about Layer 2 Switch can be found here, available on our IP Products page. In addition to Ethernet switch, we can provide various IP products. If you are interested in it, please contact us from our site. Thank you for watching.